Hello everybody, uh, it's Mario here and today I'm going to show you how to use audio as a modulator and carrier inside of um, FM8. So uh, let me show you what I mean real quick. Alright, so as you can hear we're actually routing audio into FM8 and it can be used as a carrier or a modulator. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick and let's get started. Okay, so I just made a new uh, new project and um, right now I have one MIDI track and one audio track and um, that's all you're going to need to start off. So now that I have that I'm going to go ahead and get my audio, samples, um, audio. I'm just going to use the same clip of my cousin saying I'm a pretty friendly guy. I a pretty friendly guy. <laughs> Alright, so uh, there we go. Now that we have the audio placed um, we want to create a return track. So I'm just going to delete the two that are already right here. Just delete them, um, go to create, insert return track. There we go. Now we have our return track. Now we just want to route the audio from here to the return track. So I'm going to go to in and out or IO. Uh, go to the master channel or not channel. Go to the master uh, where it says master. Change it to sends only and route the sends all the way up. There we go. So now this audio is here. Hi, pretty friendly guy. All right. So now that we have that, next step is to get, go to the plugins, find FM8 effects and drop it on there. If you try to use the regular FM8, this one, it won't work. So uh, use FM8 effects. All right. So now that we have that, we want to go ahead and go to the master channel. And this is just to make sure the audio is incoming. Yes, the audio is coming in. So uh, we're good there. And now we just want to move on to the next thing. And that is the MIDI. This is uh, why we made the MIDI track. So I'm going to go ahead and arm it. And uh, you could either uh, use your keyboard. Um, or you could just write in the note, but I'm just going to use uh, my keyboard. All right. And what we're going to do is actually send this audio to the return track. And I didn't know you could do this. It's actually really cool. So what you do is you go to this middle panel, um, go to where it says no output and change it to the return track. The return track is actually right there. So um, if I start playing notes, um, you can hear that the, the MIDI is actually coming in here, which is actually really crazy. So if I make it louder you can hear that it's here and uh, that is a really important part to this and that's like a, a really cool thing I did not know about that All right so now that we have that here um, and now that we have our audio we can add, this is where all the creativity and all the awesomeness starts so uh, all you got to do to activate the audio is just click in click play and route it somewhere all right so now you can hear that the audio is in here as well as you're you are able to actually play notes so uh, let me just uh, modulate this real quick just to show you real quick um, what you got to do is you got to click play that's how the audio is going to play and then you actually got to play a note so it actually you can hear it so as you can see, you can use this as a modulator or a carrier. So you can just route it however you want to now that you have a, a audio in FM8. And um, I hope this answered anyone that anyone's question that had this same problem because I could not uh, figure out how to do this and play notes at the same time and modulate it all that. So I want to thank you for watching and bye.